Hello, everybody, and welcome, or welcome back to Spell Rogue, my most anticipated roguelike out there, a dice-based, turn-based roguelike, and I can't get enough. I'm going to do at least another video here, and we're going to be going, cycling back to Hazel, but we're also going to explore the Void, which is basically a difficulty setting increase. So let's slap on half gold from combat and purge the Void, but let's pick a new loadout. So we've got deal 8 damage, there's roll a 5 or a 6, gain 5 block, so there's something with that, or we've got plus 2 value to the lowest die, and return the die you put in with minus 1 value. That's very interesting. Uh, 3 block, when depleted gain 3 block. I mean, we kind of did something like that already, so let's go for the beast within. In we go. If you've still somehow not seen this game yet, you are in for a wonderful, wonderful time. But alas, start of the first turn, roll a sapling 1 to 2, which is a die that persists between rounds. Ooh. Plus 1 value to dice. Oh, okay, okay. So, but it's, the second I use it, it goes away. So it's a die that I can use. It'll slowly grow over the course of time. Uh, start of combat, gain 2 blessing. Next turn, all dice gain plus 2 value to a maximum of 6 Interesting. Or start of the first turn, just gain a power. Let's go for Gaia's Grasp. I think it's a more unique to this character item. So I'm more interested in that for right now. Alright, so what do we got? Let us process. We got that one. I think we want to leave that until it's um, like a three, I guess. Or, hmm. This is, this is certainly strange. A five or six gives us five block. I mean, I, yeah, this is kind of weird, because I don't think I'm going to do damage this turn unless I want to put in both of these, but I think it's a waste. We could put in the one, and the next turn we get the, uh, this turns into a two. We put it into beasts within, we get a five or a six, but we also don't take any damage. This is a really, yeah, it's a really interesting die here. Um... I suppose I'll go for the boulder toss there. Beast within gives us a roll. We could do another eight, but we also wouldn't live. So let's go ahead, or I mean, we would live. We wouldn't do this without taking damage, which is something I'm a little bit more interested in personally. Because of course we can win the fight and we can win it quickly, but uh, I'd rather go ahead and big destroy it. Here we go. There we go. It's better to perfect it. A little bit of gold. That's half gold? It's crazy. Six damage. If lethal, permanently increase the damage by one. I'm getting that, and I'm starting to grow it right now. That is exciting. That is a heaping helping of enemies. Okay. Okay. Six damage if lethal, permanently increased by one. We're going to do everything in our power to obviously try and uh, squeak that out. Five block. So we're going to need to block twice, though? That's so annoying. At least to not take the damage. I'm going to wait because I think you cycle into a more defensive uh, attack. No, you, you don't. You are still vibing. So, it's annoying to stall in this way, but we do have guaranteed value by stalling from our sapling growing by one each turn. And then there we go. Now they've they've officially cycled into something less annoying. Thank you. Uh, give me a six, please. God dang it. This is so suboptimal to... Uh... Oh, well. We'll, we'll pop that there, and then next turn we can go for the Growing Blade. We will get the kill. We'll get the lethal. Of course, we've been infected. Give me a six. It's impossible for this to give me a six. It's impossible for this to give me a six. It's a 50-50, and it's just not happening. It's fine. We'll go ahead and infect this, which means that the poison's going to spread. We're going to take two damage at the end of the turn is what that means. Like, when we... Well, actually, we're going to take... Three, but we have a shield, so it doesn't really matter. Whenever you put a die into an infected slot, then uh, 
it will spread that infection. Each infection does one damage. So we got one damage increase on that. That's helpful. We're taking one damage at the end of the turn. We only need one in Rampart. I mean, Boulder Toss just sucks is the thing. It's like, it's just like really bad. Because Growing Blade, well, okay, it can be used twice. I guess that's the exciting thing about it. That's not that exciting of a thing about it. Uh, go ahead, and I guess I shall just block and go. Fingers crossed we can get something that speeds up our combat here, because we are quite slow with it at the moment. All right, Growing Blade has indeed grown. Whoop, whoop. Four damage when depleted, gain a power. We did kind of play with that. Apply marked is interesting, because that's a plus 50% damage taken, and we could grow our growing blade up by a hell of a lot. So even if we're not using Boulder Toss, it's kind of nice to have it, because it could be the target of a status effect instead of something else that I don't want to be targeted. So it's good to have it just here. Just cuz. Okay, might as well put a four in. Good. Getting five there. I mean, let's drop the one. We could do. We can growing blade to hit somebody, even if it's not gonna. Oh god, but yeah, even if it's not gonna end up uh, killing. It still is an attack. It still does as much damage as Boulder Toss, and it's cheaper. It only takes six pips worth of value. Do I tap out on this? I think I maybe tap out on this, because I need to get value stat. Um, eight, eight. We got 16. You got 16. I think that that's just going to have to... Oh, man. Growing Blade can only be used once. That's kind of the downside of it. Dude, I gotta just take... I gotta take some damage here, I guess. That's fine. That's fine. Growing Blade got to grow some mo. Got damage coming in? We, we don't. Ignite does damage to me if I actually use it. I'm going to put this in it because it could be a 6. It is. Do a nice clean 14. I dig it. I dig it. 9. We can't kill unless I uh, do another instinct, which I can just do. Okay. All right. Growing Blade is growing. Gain 3 Thorns. 10 damage. If they are attacking, apply a Marked. Block and a blessing. Next turn, all dice gain plus one value. Gain block. Okay. Yeah, I actually really like Gleaming Exterior for us. Because I value my fives and sixes a lot. I don't have a great thing to do with threes and fours. I mean, I can put it in instinct. Twos and threes are not bad there. Boulder toss, we just need another way to do damage. But here we go. Let's get this upgrade. That's what I was hoping for. Increased by two damage per kill. Now we're talking. Another charge in it would be good. Don't get me wrong. Four block and a blessing. Sure. Give me six. Thank you. Not crazy. Get the plus one value to everything. Okay, apparently it just happened. It happened passively. Hmm. If we go ham, we can actually squeak out a lot of damage there. We're going to get three infected, which... 
is not great. So that's... Okay. If we mark and then we Gleaming Exterior, we'll get two block. I'm fine with taking one, two, three, four. Uh, let's, we're taking two damage. I could have used my Volatile Concoction, but I feel like that would have been a waste. In hindsight, however, I don't think it would have been a problem. So we eight, we have 18. Thank God we have 18. Ugh. And there we go. There's two extra damage. We're, we're scaling for late game. Iron Skin Potion is good. Gain two barrier. Uh, that sounds really, really nice. We played this. This is very good, but we did, we did play it. When attacked by an enemy, gain two Ice Fury, which increases the damage of the next attack. Or a shard, which we're almost certainly going to want instead. Marked in a power. Marked in a dazed. I'm leaning towards gain two times block. This is better to do if we have a lot of leftover dice, which we don't have a whole lot of leftover dice as it stands. But we'll probably get... We could get there. I think we would rather just do it once. It's tough, because gaining two blessing is really good for us. But gaining two blessing also makes it hard for us to get Gleaming Exterior on the next turn. So I'm going to go for the two. This is the safer... The other one is the uh, the higher value long term, but this one's safer. I feel like I do want my boulder toss. I think I would regret getting rid of the beast within. I want solidify, but I think maybe it's for the future. We could get rid of instinct for now. Alright, we're going for fights because we want to scale. We need more targets. Okay, give me a six. Thank you. We love sixes right now. That's not lethal unless we uh, we pop it there. Does mean we don't have a good way to block because Gleaming Exterior is unfortunately a little weird. We would have to do that to gain two armor. I'll use my potion. We might get a six to make Boulder Toss even closer to uh, to Dunzo. In which case, we wouldn't have to uh, instinct. Okay. Give me a six. Thank you. We can one-shot you now. 16 damage, just like that. Boulder Toss that man, get him out of the way. Alright, got a three out of this bad boy. Man, we can already just kill. There we go. There's Now we're up to 18 damage, just like that. Gain one grow. Gain a power at the start of each round. It's really not bad. It's unrestorable. I don't intend to have fights go on long, but I will take it just because it's a... I'm not super interested in any of those things, and that's the cheaper uh, or the, the better thing to sell. Anderson. I can't wait to beat the boss and get another way to do or to get like an extra die. It's a little bit eh at this point. Twenty-seven damage is no joke. I'm gonna gain a blessing. All right, that was all blessed there. 
Give me six, okay. Good. Would that, could that have been increased by Mark? I think it could have. Okay, 20 damage. Just don't, didn't want to take too much there. Three damage, three times at the front. Double your block. I don't think I'm going for any of those, but I don't really feel like re-rolling. The first attack spell cast each turn does three extra damage. It's really not bad. I will say, what, what else would I increase? Instinct? Instinct gaining a power is... It's not that exciting, considering our build. It's one power a turn, at which is good. Well, I guess I could do two a turn. I think that going for the dazed is the smarter angle for us. Because we have no <laughs> defensive capabilities as it currently stands. Bowl of holy water, 15 max health, omniscience, roll into a one and gain foresight. Oof, I wish I had something that I really liked with a one. Because foresight is strong. 15 max health, there's nothing wrong with that. But yeah, I just, I hate ones. Gleaming exterior is not, it's not an optimal thing to put a one in. Like, I get two block and a blessing. It's fine. But then every turn after, it's kind of optimal. Eh. It's tough. It's tough. Go for the non-rares. I'll just take 15 max health. Sure. Because it, it's also like a 15 health heal. For what it's worth. And when the boss heals half of our max HP, it's kind of nice to know that... Oh, boy. Hmm. I could daze you. I'll tell you what. Let's think about the future a little bit. I'll go for the 8 block, and then I'll get the blessing. Thirty damage, just like that. We're gonna want to try and farm off this, though. I did that just for the uh, defensive capabilities of it. It's a little goofy, but hey, I want to farm. Oh, beautiful! Does this work? Ah, I can't. Okay, that is smart. Okay, so two days means that that'll last two turns, and the mark will also last two turns. Uh, Boulder Toss is broken. I couldn't care less. Give me six. Give me six out of this. Thank you. I'll have it go on another turn, sure. But we're also just going to stun you. Because when you pass that specific threshold, you get the stun. Okay, 30 damage for another stun. We can make that happen pretty easily. Cool. I can move towards Boulder Toss if I really am feeling... I'm feeling spicy. Well, you got the mark on you already. I just need a mark and growing blade once and the son of a gun is dead. Cool. If we could grow off of his summons, I mean, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe we did grow off of the summons. It just didn't look like it. Roll one extra die each turn, minus two flat attack damage. That doesn't matter very much. We do one attack a turn, and it's crazy. And if it does two less, I couldn't really be bothered. Oh, that's right. An unspent shard.
Okay. Why not? Good. We like to see a triple like this. Oh my god, that's a lot of ones. That's... That sucks. This sucks so bad, this roll. Oh no. I have, I have to get an out. That helps. This five does not help. I could... Could mark in days. I'll take a little bit less damage that way. That's the only way I can take less damage. It's not, it's not even that, yeah. I was hoping maybe it made me take four instead. But no. But nah. Alright, so we do 31 awkwardly. Right? With 50% increase. That messes things up. Yeah, it really messes things up. Boulder Toss is so bad. Yikes. Taking two there. I, I hate that I want to... Uh, I hate that I still want to go for the growing blade, but we got to take everything we can get. Okay. Um, let's just think about next turn. Cool. Let's get shield on first because we are going to go for the growing blade. It should be 32. Grew even more. He had some thorns on him. That's why we had to be a little bit slow about it. Apply weak to all enemies. Six damage apply pox. It's not it's not anything for us. Roll two fives or sixes. I can we talk about how this has two charges? It's three and roll a five or a six, and this is twelve to roll two of them? It seems seems kinda high, and it only has one use. Infused scales could be okay, but I'm taking Pox Flare because it sells for more. Because I, I don't think I'm using any of them, so I'm just going to go for that one. Costs more. Alright, Wormy. Bat. Bat, bat. To two shield at the end of every turn now. Got our full block. Turn this into a six, please. Thank you. Dang, man, we're close. If, if this turns into a six, we actually could... Yeah, well. Doesn't really matter. <laughs> I'm ignited. Doesn't even matter. Whoop. Stronger yet. 30 damage. 30 damage for 6. Seems pretty good to me. Gain foresight and curse. Ooh. Interesting. Roll an extra die, but all the dice lose one value. That's pretty good. That's a pretty good trade-off for five. Whoa! Are you for real? That's a crazy upgrade.
I've not been using Boulder Toss. I kind of just like to have it for, like, backup. But truthfully, I should have this instead if I'm going to do that, but... Yeah, I just... I need it for backup. There's some situations where having one extra smack, no matter how mediocre, really matters. Let's see, if I could just... This is some awkward stuff. This actually is an incredible time to do this. Okay, so now we can kill him with a, an instinct and growing blade on the next turn. You know what? I don't know why I would even care about that. We just because we want to take this one at a time and go for the bang bang in that way. All right, so go ahead. Instinct. I feel like did I? Yeah, this, I I thought I mathed it right. Good. That is truly fundamentally bizarre. That's tapped out, huh? We really don't need to do anything else. Slowly but surely, the blade shall grow. Bye. 36 damage. Attack gains 20% lifesteal. We'd love to see that. Plus one value to all of your dice. Seven value. It, it's kind of like a good... Oh, and two power? And a blessing? There's some interesting stuff there. I probably end, won't end up using it. All right, what's our relic? Instantly cast target spell. Next spell is cast twice. Yes. That that gives us a lot of um, tempo. I can't kill you yet, no. We have a four. So we can gleaming exterior. You love to see that. Cool. Thirty-eight, fifteen, nineteen. I can't kill you, can I? No. I'd have to boulder toss as well, which I actually could probably with this I could probably do, right? Yeah. I'm going ham. Cool. <laughs> Another. <laughs> Just give me the gleaming exterior. Give me the give me blessing, I suppose. Next spell is cast twice. Six. I could cast it again too. Does it does it get cast on the same target? I wonder, or do we get to pick a new target? Gain one blessing and roll a die for each blessing. Interesting. When rolling a two, heal for one. I kinda like that. But I, I need more I need more upgrades. Like I need to make some stuff here better. Roll two dice for each blessing. Or only make it cost or take six is pretty appealing. We have so much wacky stuff. Gain a blessing and roll the die for each blessing. Alright, step one. Get all this shenaniganery we could maybe get rid of the beast within at this point 
It don't matter. It don't matter. <laughs> Bye. You know what? Screw you in particular. I'm literally just gonna set this up for next turn. Okay. So what is this? The next two spells cast are broken. Um. Oh, gotcha. That is pretty annoying. That's quite it. That's quite annoying. We can do 66 damage, which is crazy. I don't mind that being broken. That's kind of why I'm doing that. And you know what? I don't I don't mind that being broken either. And then we'll block four of that. Marked in the days, we could. You know what? Let's see if we can get a six. Nah, that would have been fun. We'll need to boulder toss first. Oh, never never mind, never mind, never mind. I forgot about that. Next spells cast twice. Wait. Did it work? Did that work? I think it worked. On one gain of bear. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Ooh. That's a really, like, I like having a place to put my ones. I'm probably not going to use it, though. Like, I think we've kind of got a pretty dumb build that... Oh, it's the placeholder demon! Okay, so I'm pretty sure this means you can't, um... Oh, that's right. You have voodoo. On losing health, deal that much damage. I'm just not going to mess with that then. Nice. Give me a six. Why even bother? But I'm doing it. Yeah, there's no point. Next. Don't like that fight as much because there's just not as many. Two foresight. Very good. X plus X block. I mean, it, this is for... It's probably for selling. So I'm just going to put that. Shard of the first turn gained Thorn. We're definitely going for a shard upgrade. I need to get to a shop pretty bad. Let's see. It's going to be hard to get ones if we go for blessings. Sure. Standard heal. Rolling a two heal one. Roll two dice unrestorable. Target spell gains two charges is kind of hilarious. Life skin is, is pretty decent. But hey. All right. It's going to be a little bit goofier. We don't love a long-term fight. And we truly do hate ones. Why does this even... Take them ones. I was really hoping to get the six out of that.
I could put the one in gleaming, but... I think I'd rather save it. All dice lose one value, so they go up by... Wait, no, we didn't... We didn't bless. Okay. Oh god, this is a lot. We hate... We don't like ones, so getting barrier for, like, block every single turn is a pretty good deal. Let's think about this for a sec. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. So, yeah, relief is super good. For that reason right there. Oh, dang. Keep the two, I think. Uh, oh, you jerk! Oh, no! That's just... Yeah, it just lasts for that many turns. Okay. Woo! Nelly. It's worth it. Don't have any ones. God. No, wait. Oh, God. I regret. I regret. I regret. I regret. Because if I do this, then... Then he's gonna enrage. Oh god, what have I done? I'm not taking damage this turn, apparently, so... I think it's fine if I do this. Technically, I'll do this twice. I'll probably end up taking damage. Yeah. Pretty good. It looks like I might not be able to choose my targets. On the second spell. Gaining a critical. I don't need to do that. If I'm willing to just take the L on that. You also get stunned. Okay. I like you getting stunned pretty helpful. And then I'll just preemptively daze you. Okay. Yeah, Earthbane is like, it's just... If I ever bless myself, then we start to have some issues. Doesn't really matter. 12 block every turn for free. Don't even have to try. Bye bye. Bye bye. 52 damage. Minus one die each turn, but at the start of the turn, gain critical. Too critical, which is your next attack does two times damage. I don't care, I'm doing it. This is this is the run where it could work. This is the run where it could work. I need to I need to hit a shot pretty badly. Do I care about this? Maybe a little. Get to the shop. We've not gone all game. Okay. So there's our extra. Give me six, 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 six. Oh. Ah. Wait, what? This is already at 104? That's crazy.
I mean... <laughs> I mean, what do I... I mean, what do I... I don't really care at this point. This is silly. Very, very silly. Now it could be cast twice. Why is it so much low? Oh, because we're dazed. Still. 126 twice. Deal blank damage. If marked is on the tar- Eh. I, I just can't really afford to do something with that, though. Uh, Boulder Toss can go. Hello there, my old friend. We need to get rid of the guy that uh, is going to truly make things problematic there. So we have eight block. We're taking one. Let's do a z nice clean zero damage, a.k.a. Earthbane is literally just here to funnel my ones into barrier. That's the whole reason it exists. Like, my build is basically these two spells, and everything else is supplementary. That's kind of the whole... Kit and the whole caboodle. Who's doing the most damage? None of them. Okay. Oh my god, we could actually do six damage with that. Imagine. All right. Next is used twice. Now we can see if we can target a separate character, but I feel like I probably can. That's okay. It still lets me explode a singular man. All right. 132 damage blade. Double your power, unrestorable. I don't really have much power. I'll take it. For selling. I'm finally going to a shop. Alright. Okay. My, th minus two countdown costs to another spell this combat. Yeah, I think that's probably a good call. Probably take that over relief. Shop price is down by 40%. Oh, don't make me do math. Start of combat, five barrier, three curse. When attacked, I mean, I don't care about too much of that stuff. So I'm just going to buy that. I don't know if I want anything else. <laughs> After all of this, I'll take that, I guess. I'll Like, I'll just take that stuff. We could have got the pouch. But, like, that stuff... Is it gonna hurt me? Uh, yes. I think Hex Crown is a mistake. Oh, Hex Crown is a huge mistake. Well, it gives me lots of... No, it's bad. It's bad. It's, it's unequivocally uh, a, a bad idea. I just took stuff for the sake of it. Minus six countdown to target spell. Add a charge to target spell. I really wish I didn't take the crown. It may be a throw. It shouldn't matter because it's just for one turn. But god, it sucks. What do I want? Kind of, I mean, to take less damage would be the big one. Eh, we'll just vampirism next turn. Give me the six. Earthbane uses up our crits. That's hilarious. I am getting Ice Furied out of my gourd. Okay. 
Mark him. I can't, I can't farm off that guy. Cool. Potency, unrestorable. Now that's probably worth it. Return die with... I mean, return die, actually nurture, hold on. Nurture helps a lot, actually. Turning a 2 into a 4 is huge. A 1 into a 3 is still pretty good. It also helps. It, it makes it so we can put it in instinct. At that point, I think we'd replace uh, Bane. Infused potency is not bad. Nurture helps me not get, like, one shot. I, I don't think you can get one shot in this, really, anyways. Potency, some long-term stuff. I don't think I need long-term stuff. I don't cast three attack spells in a single turn. Inscribe, though. Let's actually get that in there. I, for I forgot I had this. That's just so good. I don't know if I I don't know if I need relief at this point then. Beast within is just pretty solid now. Cause like if we reduce it down to one, turning a one into anything, it's kind of a big deal. Alright, here's our first roll. Please be good so that it's not a nightmare in the second. Okay, good. Alright. Inscribe into Beast Within. So is the cost is the cost down forever now too? Cause it 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 Huh. I'm i I'm confused by that. Okay. I'm not upset by it, but I am confused. Twenty damage twenty damage guy. a lot of damage reduction so i'm just oh he that's right he's the guy who eats dice oh you weirdo you sicko oh. there we go we just need to kill first turn we just we need to stop messing I mean, I'm not using a lot of, like, a lot of this stuff just doesn't matter. The fact that you passively gain fortify is very cool on that one. Oh, this is the ding dong who takes a turn to do something. Hmm. Gotta love it. If I could mark you, we actually would be done already. Okay. Thank you very much. Apply three marks. Hey, I can do it for free now. 
When gaining Blessing, gain four block. That's actually pretty cool. Uh, what has not been upgraded that I have? Nothing. Except for Beast Within, but that can't be upgraded. So, I will take the Acorn then, I guess. Uh, when rolling a six, two damage to all enemies. I just don't really care about any of this. This uh, Grim Rite seems super bad to me. Basically, delete one of your moves to gain one power and one fortify, which is like it's like a fine trade if it didn't also cost eight to cast. It just seems meh. I don't know. All right. Oh, that does work. Cool. Good to know. Okay. Bapu boopa. Bapu boopa. Bapu boopa. It's a lot. It's gonna hurt, but hey. Zip. Give me six. Give me a six. God, I could have done it again. And next turn, I could have done it again, again, again. Silly, silly, silly. New spell loadout for Azar. New spell. Expend target spell. Gain three block for each removed. Oh, that's... We did a run that would have been super good with that. The Book of Cubomancy. Found a book, the Book of the Void. Invulnerable... Defeat three elites without taking damage. 150 damage single attack. Upgrade four spells. 15, I mean, uh, that's right. We also had some void mutators on. I forgot about that. Dang. Pretty good. Pretty darn good. Damage received 63. Can't be mad at that. So mana splinter. Split a dice in half. Ooh. Ooh, there's some fun stuff there. What is the Book of Cubomancy? <laughs> Upgrade spells 15 times. Hey, alas, alas, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. God, I love the game. It's so good. Oh, it says you're a top void mutator. Do more things get... Ah, more stuff does get added. Heal 25% max HP after boss is set of 50. Lose one max health when collecting a spell. It's kind of interesting. Oh, all this stuff is different. Oh, everything is different. So with 50% less max health is worth four out of the six points you need in order to get this uh, ascension. First six rolled each combat, it could be re-rolled. You can build around that being fine. Uh, lose one max health and collecting spell and heal for 25. I mean, these at the same time is terrifying. You can only cast six spells each turn. Oh, yeah, yay. On the first turn of combat, get four rupture. Yikes, man. Uh, alas, alas, though, that is that. That's going to do it here for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for roguelikes and more every single day. If you want more spell rogue, let me know in the form of a comment down below. Uh, I will say, don't expect more. Like, I was honestly just going to do one video, and then I was like, ah, fine, I'll do one on, on each of the three characters. Don't expect it until uh, early access or any, like, next major update or anything. But the game is just so good, man. It's just so good. Go wishlist it. Please do me a favor. Thank you, thank you, and I'll see you next time. Bye.